What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest shader that I've written, which is for Optifine. It's a shader that is largely compatible with Optifine. You could also use it with Karyonyx shaders mod, but it's not customizable and therefore a bit pointless. So let me show you what I mean. I wrote a shader called CPHSBC and that confusing name stands for Crushed Pixels U Saturation Brightness and Contrast Shader and you can already see this is from my LSD video. There's some stuff going on so let me reset everything to normal. And this is the shader in its normal state. Nothing has changed. It's as if I had no shader on. So let's go to the shader options and see what we can do. Here we can change the overall brightness, U, contrast and saturation of in the Minecraft image that we're seeing. And let's just increase the brightness for example. Yep. You can do that. You could of course also decrease it. Um, like this for example. Now everything's darker. You can also reset it and increase the contrast. And I think this has a very nice touch to it because I personally like the higher contrast uh, images. Everything looks cooler, I think, more defined. You can, of course, also change uh, the saturation. So now the reds are more red, the greens are more green. I mean, that's what saturation does. And you can also change the U, which means it shifts the colors of everything. And I think that's pretty cool. So I've been asked by somebody on Twitter if I could make a shader that changes the contrast of the image. And I was like, yeah, why not? But let me also add U, saturation and brightness to it because I think those are some pretty cool effects for um, video creators that don't want to use a lot of post-production. This kind of has an alpha feeling to it, all of this contrast. I think in Minecraft Alpha there was a lot more contrast than in these versions nowadays. And finally, um, you may have noticed the asset setting. Let me just reset it. And the asset setting is pretty much something I added for the fun of it. Let me enable it at a very slow rate. As you can see, the U is slowly changing, like very slowly. You can barely notice that's because it's set to a very low value. Let me set it to something more noticeable. As you can see, the U is cycling through. Uh, what the values actually stand for um, I've set it to 0 0.2, which means that um, every second it's going to change the U by 0 0.2. We can actually increase that to, for example, 1, and it's going to cycle through all of the colors once per second. Now I've also added some uh, more crazy settings. Unfortunately, in the shaders uh, in Optifine, you can't uh, allow the user to have a slider. So I just added the sh uh, settings like this and I feel like I'm on a rave party. Now, if you're an epileptic, you should probably tune away now because this is crazy. Let me also improve the contrast for it to be on the maximum level. And let's crank up the saturation. Welcome to your doom. The download link is of course in the video description. My eyes are starting to hurt so I think I'm going to disable the shader for now. Um, if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you want to do or whatever, just download it and use it. If you use it feel free to credit the shader and so on, blah, blah, you know all of that. See you in the next video. Bye. Die.